number one ranked Servite is one win away from defending their Pac-5 championship, but Alamany stands in their way. The Friars' first possession has them seeing red. Cody Pittman takes it into the red zone with a great run. He's followed by Sean DeRosa, who puts Servite on the board first. But in a flash, Alamany responds. Quarterback Vernon Adams picks up some major yardage as he finds Tyler Dabovich. Cameron Washington crashes into the paint, and it's tied at 7-all. So it's time for Servite to unleash the freak. Malik Felton carries the rock into the heart of Alamany territory. Sneaky Cody Pittman takes care of the rest. 14-7 Servite. And check out this run from Adams. He leaves a trail of broken ankles behind him as he sets up a 29-yard field goal for Martin Mesa. But Jordan Jones will have none of it. Momentum swings over to the Friars' side and happy birthday, Malik. Felton darts for the sidelines and goes 63 yards for a touchdown. Servite leads 21-7 going into the half. The Friars kick off the third quarter with a bang. Pittman rolls out and connects with last year's Pac-5 championship hero, Ainsley Johnson. But Alamany continues to fight. Adams throws a touchdown pass to Walls of Jericho Richardson. And after Servite misses a 45-yard field goal, doink, the Warriors have life but they find themselves facing a fourth and 25 and leave it to Vernon Adams to throw a bomb to Saladin McCullough. Uh-oh, is it 1992 all over again? Adams buys enough time and finds Corey Sims for an amazing diving touchdown grab. It's 28-21 with minutes remaining in the game and after Servite misses another field goal, can Adams pull off the comeback? He evades the pressure and rolls out only to find the hitman, Matt Inman, on a game-ending tackle. Good sportsmanship shown by Adams, who had an incredible game, but it wasn't enough. Servite wins a classic. I think they, they've worked so hard, and you know, I think to get back there, you have to earn it. And um, I think those guys have done that in the offseason and throughout the season. In practice, in the weight room, these guys have really earned this. Yeah, our defense always has to come through. Not necessarily because our offense is bad, our offense is great, but our defense sets the tempo. Like, we're always physical, we're always hitting hard. This is how we're coached by Coach Thomas. My line held for me, and that's what got me time to do the, what I did. And Malik's been running amazing these past few weeks, and my receivers made plays. So, I mean, what else can you ask for? Alana and Cody, they've been working their butts off this whole entire time, and I just had to owe my respect and everything to them. It was the same old, same old for Servite tonight. A complete team effort victory. Four different Friars ended up in the scoring column and defensively Jordan Jones shined brightest. His interception and blocked field goal really swayed the course of this game. We waited all year to say it. Finally, number one Servite takes on number two Mission Viejo. Let the countdown begin. Reporting from Cerritos College, I'm Jonathan Camus for OCVarsity.com. Start one on three. One, two, three. Survey! Whoa!